Hello, it's Sarah. <clears throat> I figured I'd turn on the camera, guys. I haven't been in the, I mean, I have been in the craft room, just not making videos, and I want to share what I've been up to. Um, these are the patterns by Erica Joanne. They are the quilt blocks that, that I shared about previously. I know it's been a while. And I'm going to do a couple more of them. So here's the dragonfly. These are a dollar right now until the end of the year. Um, on her website, I will put all the info in the description. And she also, on her Facebook Live, does a tutorial of her painting these pieces. There are nine in total, three by three. And they work up so quickly. Um, I am addicted to them, and I just figured I'd turn on the camera. I don't think she'll, she would mind. <clears throat> I'm just going to share a little bit of, so I've traced, these are paper mache boxes. I got these at uh, Hobby Lobby. I also got these magnets. I have to uh, rebase that. I think it needs another coat. But I figure these are little 3x3 three three paper mache boxes. I am going to put that on top of the box. OMG, I can't. They're so cute, you guys. So anywho, I've already traced, so I've base coated. I'm not really thrilled with the edges. It's still, you know, that's the base coating. We're still in the very beginning stages. Uh, I traced the design on with a light color, I want to say graphite, but it may be carbon paper, I don't know, um, so that I can see the work, and then I'm going to base coat. Now, in all my other videos, I usually say to base coat with water in your brush, right? I say, you know, there's always water in your brush. So that is why I am enjoying doing this. I'm just looking for the brushes that I want to use. <clears throat> My number one and two. I'll use all three of those. Um, so much because it's a little bit different for me. It's a little out of my wheelhouse and it keeps me interested and I have to keep, you know, <clears throat> remembering. So, all right, I still have the same setup that I always have, my palette. <clears throat> you don't need a palette. You just need somewhere to put paint. The other thing about Erica Joanne's work is she uses the um, Drisonia paint, which is considered a gouache. It's definitely a different texture. It's thicker. It's more creamy, where this is more, um, I don't know, whatever texture. Saucy, you know. Um, okay, so. I'm going to start. So I'm just going to take this little number two round brush, put a little water on it. I shouldn't have. See, it's out of habit. I'm going to load my brush in this turquoise color. So I've already gone through and chosen my colors. I, I substituted some that I didn't have in the Jasonia paint for what I have. And I loaded my brush with just the paint. Then I'm going to take it and just kind of dry the brush like I'm getting the water out of the brush and then I'm just going to reload the tip and this is exactly what she does on her <clears throat> but she is using the Joe Sonia paint so it's a different animal this paint is way wetter than the Joe Sonia paint so let me come in it's the same premise though so this is my dragonfly this is what I'm painting so this is the turquoise color. I'm going to use it to create this band around the sunflower. I like to start at the edge. And this is very wet compared to what it would be for her. I do want this to be opaque when I'm finished. I think I'm going to kind of go... I could have put this line on, but I didn't. I just didn't. There was a line on the pattern, but I didn't uh, include it for some reason. Sometimes I'm just, I don't, I try not to actually put all the tracing lines on, just as many as I need to uh, kind of have a guideline. 
and this is looking wonky okay and all I'm gonna do is go around the whole piece that looks so wonky it's all right it's gonna look gorge by the time I'm done <clears throat> to these areas where this turquoise color is. So it's right here on the dragonfly top wing. I'm just gonna kinda let the brush do the work and just, it's not as, uh, when I usually base coat, I wanna cover every um, fiber of the substrate in a way that I do two coats usually and I make sure that they're nice and smooth. This doesn't have to be as smooth because of the way she uses a damp dry brush to highlight to yeah to highlight. Um, and really the fun comes in when we do the highlighting. So maybe I'll turn off the camera and once I get some of this base coated, I just can't, I can't really see my lines as dark as I want. Um, I'll come back and show you how I'm gonna add the uh, shading. I mean, the highlighting, I keep saying the wrong word. Um, it's such, it's fast, in other words. Yeah, I can just, okay, I can't talk and paint at the same time. <laughs> I also have the butterfly design that I'm gonna do, so there's t these two. Let me come up a little bit. So I think I'll go away and I'll base coat, uh, so that it'll just be a base coat and I'll show you what it looks like. It looks kind of rough, but I will show you how we highlight because it's so fun. All right, I'll be right back. 